I just want to talk a little bit about the clove hitch tied on the bite and a couple of safety points if you're going to use it in climbing. This knot's a really easy knot to tie. All you need to do is take your rope and then form a loop by rotating your hand clockwise and then form another clockwise loop and then overlap those two loops so that these long strands are next to each other. And then if you're going to use it as a general hitching knot, that's fine. You would just place that over your post and pull tight. And that's a great and quick way to tie off your rope if you don't have access to the end. If you're going to use it in climbing, next thing you want to do is locate which of these strands is going to be your load strand. So if this one was my load strand, for instance, I would clip in in this direction and that's just to make sure that the load strand is closest to the spine of the carabiner and that just loads the carabiner in its optimal or strongest configuration. The clove hitch is advantageous over other knots in certain situations because you can adjust the knot without having to untie or unclip from the carabiner and you can do that just by feeding through slack in one side and pulling that slack through the other and that's useful in certain situations such as getting closer to the edge if you tie it off to an anchor point the only other thing I wanted to say about it is that the clove hitch should only be used in closed loop climbing systems or systems where you're where this hitch is not tied anywhere near the end of the rope. So in other words, it shouldn't be used as a termination knot against the carabiner. Because the clove hitch has a little bit of a tendency to slip, if it's tied as a termination knot, this end could slip all the way through. If you had to use it as a termination knot, then Packy says that it's allowed, or the Professional Association of Climbing Instructors says it's allowed as long as you back it up with a strangled double overhand knot like that. And I have another video on how to tie this knot, and I'll just link that in the description. But that is the clove hitch tied on the bite.